Working on a video from Joe Mano's church. Have you heard this album? Jason Upton's new album. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love his flow these days. I'm gonna put a link down in the bottom for his new album if, if you didn't know that it was out. But I gotta go do taxes today. And I'm, I, I'm not excited. Whoa! Long live the Jason's talking to us. Yep. So what's on my mind today is this. That when we live a life of faith, it demands that our eyes continually look to Jesus. Because if Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith, then if we do not look unto him who authors and finishes our faith, we will not have the faith we need to walk a life of faith. And this is called worry. A life of faith is a life of continually looking unto Jesus. Jesus is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I talk with Dave Papavisi from Kingdom Gospel Mission a lot. And randomly throughout the day, I will send him a question and his answers are always baffling. So I asked him to define faith as simple as possible. Check this out. I think that the most basic definition that I would give would be that faith is trust in God that is based upon his revelation of himself so it's it's trust in god based upon the revelation of himself so what he's revealed to us concerning himself it's trust in that i remember when jesus said i've come into the world to testify of the truth i asked dave one time what he felt jesus meant by saying i have come into the world to give testimony to the truth to testify of the truth his response was amazing. He said, everything was set in motion by a lie in the garden about God. And when Jesus comes, he comes to correct the lie about who the Father is. So I'm done with taxes. Dear God, thank you. And I'm heading home. So I carry around this little book in my pocket and I write down little quotes that I read or that come to me throughout the day. Here, I'll give you a couple of them. This is by Andrew Murray. Humility is the place of entire dependence upon God. A good one. Here's another one. This is from, oh, this is from the Book of Enoch. He said, I stood still in prayer before the Holy One. Another one is, how to deviate from God. Give mild attention to Him. Richard Raleigh wrote, I linger in heavenly savors. These are just gold to me. Who I wrote this one down January 2nd. Every morning, as I am transfixed in adoration, my soul is brought to say, this is the greatest moment of my entire life. Such is what faith gives us access to. If faith is anything, it is access into the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith grants us access into evidence. Faith grants us access into substance. What is coming is Him. What is unseen is Him. Paul tells us to give attention to the unseen and not allow what is seen to eclipse what is unseen. For the unseen is eternal. The paramount issue of things unseen is Him. Moses endured by seeing him who is unseen. This is faith.
Back in a born baby In a mother's womb Before my lungs could breathe I was What is faith? Just hit him with all your heart Before my eyes were open So I'm here in Arizona doing a house meeting with a friend of mine named Lyons Whitmore. So far it's been so sweet to be together and to talk about the richness of God's presence. Look at this beautiful sunrise peeking over the mountains here. I love it. So what's on my mind this morning is that Jesus is most important, but so often forgotten. In the midst of all of the things that he does and all the things that are available in him, it's so easy to just forget or try to move past or think little of the fact that we can communicate with him, we can experience his presence, and we can enjoy him. To me, this is number one, and it needs to be reinstated in the church as a source of joy and peace. That's a serious camera, dude. It's nice, it's a nice one. Video and everything? <laughs> it's nice, it's a nice one. Yeah, it's a video and everything. Don't oh. you film everything with? Yeah. We came up on this blind man one day, leaning on his cane, like outright red and white cane, the whole deal. And um, we just began to talk to him. He was wearing a combat patch from my army unit. And so I kind of had his heart anyway, and we started talking to him real quick about healing and what God wants to do and that God loves him. And as we began to pray, we prayed once, he saw a little bit, we prayed twice, he could see a little better. Um, he can only see shapes. And we prayed for the guy like six or seven times. And it, by the end, he reached out to his wife and didn't reach past her and didn't reach short, but reached out and touched her face and said, you look beautiful. There's so much gray in your hair. And she started to cry and I started to cry and well, we all cried and, and the, but the blind man um, literally turned around because church was starting, folded up his cane and walked out on his own without assistance through a crowd and through the, through the people out into the sunlight. Regardless of what the world tells you, Jesus still heals. So if you're watching this and you're broken, or your skin has issues and you're sick, God says, be whole, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He didn't have to do anything but say, be whole, your sins are forgiven and I love you. So we just thank you, Jesus, that you are a God that still captivates the heart of your children to set us free from sickness, brokenness, even unto death. Everything, complete transformation, uh, my, the way I think, the, my desires, the way I live, the way I love, everything is different. Honestly, I, I would say you, you can't make it without Him. You, the, the world will, will have its way with you. And you need the power of the Holy Spirit to keep you going. Otherwise, you can't overcome. Whatever struggles you have now, the only way to overcome is through the Spirit. Jesus, I thank you that you were the perfect sacrifice. I thank you right now that you gave mankind the greatest gift that anyone could ever receive. And I pray right now that everyone watching this under the sound of my voice receives the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I ask you to baptize your people. In Jesus' name, amen. So we did the school today. Well, kind of like a school. What did you think? And it's cooler. It was awesome, man. Jesus was... Uh smacking us sideways <laughs> it was so still in there there was such a sweetness and there was Sorry. some, there was some <laughs> what happened josh i put i pushed the branch down and she got smashed <laughs> all right you guys hey josh what'd you think of today it was amazing seriously though you guys are good i appreciate you guys taking time out of your life to come and pour into us it's awesome did you sense of presence this morning i did it? absolutely yeah awesome. yeah all right guys catch you